This video, I guess you could say, is brought to you by Big Hammer Lures. I use their baits exclusively in this video. Their hammerhead jig head, the 3 ounce, paired with a 2-inch Big Hammer First swim one, bait. Fish. Check out their website at swimbait.com. They have some awesome lures. Ooh, we out here today in the spillway. Doing a little cold, cold, cold winter fishing. It's like 38 degrees on my thermometer in my truck. And I just got snagged for the first time today. I do not want to get snagged anymore today. I'm on limited tackle. First fish of the day. Got me a little bass. <laughs> just dragging it slow on the bottom. And it's a white bass. Look how white he is. Got the first fish of the day. Look at that. Right, that's nice. All right. So they are fish here and they're eating. <laughs> I thought it was a, uh, a white bass for a minute, but it was just a, a white bass. A light bass. And that fish had it in his mouth forever before I realized that it was actually a fish. Well, that's one fish down. Usually don't go like this with me and Mark are fishing together. We usually don't catch anything except for that one time we went to Carnarvon. That was actually pretty fun. But yeah, it's a real chilly morning this morning. We out here by this little culvert in the spillway doing a little fishing trying to find some uh, stripy fish. White bass, yellow bass, I don't know, largemouth bass, even a perch or something. I'll take anything at this point. It is cold. I got gloves on. We're going to see what we may have here after I retire. Man, these gloves don't help at all. My hands feel like frozen either, even though I got the gloves on. And the difference between standing with your back to the sun and your face to the sun is a big difference. It's hard for me to have confidence fishing in dirty water like this. Fishing in brackish water, I'm so used to trying to avoid, avoid dirty water. <laughs> I'm about to catch my second fish of the day. You got to get it how you live when it's cold like this. Look at that. Caught me a little... I guess that's probably a carp. Maybe that's an Asian carp. I don't know. Maybe just some kind of silver sad minnow. Looks like a carp to me though, because look at that. Look at that mouth on it. It's a wide open mouth. You're not supposed to be able to lip a fish that small. I wonder if I can use it for bait. So I think we're at like a six or seven stop for the day and so far the only stop that's yielded anything is that first stop i think mark caught one at a few stops ago but i haven't done anything since that first little bass this place is frustrating all right we're now at spot number uh 74. still on one fish it's now after 12 o'clock we started this journey at about 6.45, still on one fish, but I think I just had a bite maybe. A little tap. We have explored almost the whole spillway, seems like. Stopping at a bunch of different ponds. This little pond right here is pretty deep compared to everything else we fished today. It's probably about five or six feet deep. Walking on this stuff is kind of oddly satisfying. It just kind of just crunches. It's like eating a bag of chips. Oh, 
So maybe I did have a hit. Ooh. Yeah, solid. Two and a half pound bass. Let's see. Oh, two pound bass maybe. Man, that was a surprise. See that? It's real light. I wasn't filming because not much has been going on. Yeah, got lucky. And then this happened. Yeah, got nice. A lucky little light color bass. Nice fish off the bottom. We're on the uh, opposite side of Norco. Caught him on nice. the little mini jig. I don't think so. I think the only thing to snag on is this little weed or whatever is growing, this little sticks. Huh. Yeah, he was right. He was right on the bank, pretty much, under these sticks. Maybe I did have a hit earlier back there. Man, this trip was way too cold. We really should have started in the afternoon on this trip, probably around 10:30, 11 o'clock. I don't know why I decided to wake up at five in the morning and go out there on like the coldest day of the year, and that was just too cold to fish. My hands felt like they were icicles, but. We were able to catch a couple fish. I caught that one fish first thing in the morning and then we went dry and I caught the second fish later once it warmed up a little. So I don't know, the fish were probably biting all day. But thanks for watching. I have some more cool content coming soon. Go explore the spillway and I'll see you guys out there on the water.